Hello, St. Paul's Primary School. It's Father Daniel here. It's lovely to be with you. As you can see, I'm still wearing my red poppy for Remembrance Day. If possible, please begin our time of worship together by lighting three candles to remind us of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This day, may our lives reflect the compassion of God the Father, the humility of God the Son, and the gentleness of God the Holy Spirit. So we're still thinking about the theme of compassion. I'm going to remind you about that wonderful acrostic poem, um, which helps us to understand what compassion is. Compassion is costly caring, offering help, making a difference, putting others first, always listening, sensitive, sensitive to suffering, service in action, interested in others, offering care and concern, and noticing a need. The word compassion is a combination of two words, com, which means with, and passion, which can mean suffering. Compassion therefore means being with someone who is suffering or sad, trying to understand how they might be feeling, and showing that you care about them. Our words of wisdom from the Bible for this term are, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. It's a verse that comes from the New Testament from St Paul's letter to the Colossians. It is as if St Paul, who wrote these words over 2000 years ago, is saying, when you put on your clothes in the morning, imagine you are clothing yourselves with the attitudes of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. I'm going to share a picture of compassion with you. I'd like you to look at it carefully. Now, what do you think might have happened to the girl in the front of the picture to make her feel so sad? And what do you think the girl in the back of the picture might be saying to show compassion or kindness to the girl in the front of the picture? You might like to stop the video at this point and just have a discussion about what we might do to show compassion. Now, I'm going to ask you to imagine um, two different scenes or scenarios where people need compassion. And again, if there's an opportunity, it might be good to stop the video and just have a short conversation about what we might do to show compassion to, first of all, Cameron, and secondly, Katie. These are made up stories about the kind of things that might happen any day in our own school. Thinking about everyday compassion. So in the first scene, Cameron comes into the center of the room holding a rolled up towel. And I say to Cameron, hello Cameron, you look a bit worried. What's the matter? And Cameron says, our class is going swimming this afternoon it's the first time we've been, and I hate deep water. I always have nightmares about it. I only, only have to look at it, and I get frightened that I'm going to drown. Now, if we can pause the video, perhaps we might just have a short conversation about what we would do in those circumstances to show compassion to Cameron. In the second scene, Katie comes into the middle of our room, frantically looking in her backpack for something. And I said to her, Katie, what are you looking for? And she says, I'm looking for my homework. My mum has forgotten to put it in my bag. 
She said she'd do it while I was brushing my teeth after breakfast. Mrs. Morgan is going to be really mad. She said today was the absolute deadline for handing in my homework. Again, if possible, pause the video and just have a short conversation about what we might do to show compassion to Katie. Now, I hope you came up with some good ideas about ways of showing compassion or kindness to Cameron and Katie. Now, I'd like you to think for a few moments about a time when someone in school showed compassion to you, when you were sad or upset. I wonder if the person who showed compassion to you knows that you were really grateful. Before we say our prayers, we're going to listen to a song.
Everyone needs compassion. It's a good message. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, during your life on earth, you showed compassion and kindness to so many people who were suffering and unhappy. Thank you for people who have shown compassion and kindness to us and given us the courage to keep going even when times were tough. Remind us this week when we put on our school uniform to put on the attitudes of compassion and kindness in all that we do. Amen. Let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. St Paul's Primary School, thank you very much for sharing in this corporate worship today. It's been very good to be with you, and I hope to see you very soon. Have a good day. Have a good week. God bless. Bye-bye.